Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you 15 amazing photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite have erased and remake the history to fit their narrative. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. From a time long ago, wiped from our past history, comes the awesome view of a Russian artist whose works are based on stories from Hyperborea, Atlantis, Tartaria, Old World and Golden Age times. The artist named, Sevalod Ivanov, 1895-1963. Sevalod Ivanov was deeply convinced that the history of ancient Russia is distorted or fabricated. He was a scholar whom studied in profundity the old tales and far-off legends of the ancestors of the Russian land and was able to create and depict the ancient generations of the past. According to his many findings, domesticated mammoths, dragons, Atlantis-inspired architecture, and mythical characters were part of the Russian civilization. Incredible research and visionary artwork. Reincarnation of Cheops or Enoch in the form of Nikola Tesla. Did Cheops and Tesla both had the same goal, more than just of energy? Magnet under a ferrocell versus ancient Navajo dream catcher. Look at the concentration of rope at the center of the dream catcher, and then look at the hue at the center of the magnet. A vortex of energy going to the center of the magnet like a tornado. Do you see the sacred golden ratio pattern that make up everything that be? Lots of amazing ancient sacred knowledge is being kept from humanity. Why? because the biology of the universe and nature is directly one in the same with our own. NASA pulling the collective leg of humankind. Why would they do it? You can see the North Pole continent in most old maps, along with Tartaria, before it was removed in the 17th century. In 2016, three pyramids were discovered in Antarctica. The pyramids measured over 1,220 meters, or 4,000 feet tall, making them about 10 times the height of the famous Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. Antarctica was at the equator at the time, so living conditions were more tolerable. However, soon after this discovery, the government has even blocked pictures of these pyramids on Google Earth. Release from deception by Francesco Corollo in 1752 to 1759. They say this one was carved. Yeah, I'd like to see someone in the modern day to attempt something like this. The story of the pyramids having the electrical power might be pseudoscience for today's mainstream media, but if we take a better look at this picture, it looks as if the people in the picture are holding a device that ends in a stone on which a little boy is sitting. It acts like a cable, and a snake symbol, like the one inside of a light bulb. It's also interesting that on the right side a huge symbol of a man with the head of an animal holding two metals, which just may be a cathode and a node. It's up to you to decide. Electric cars pictured charging back in 1917. How did we lose this technology, to then reinvent it in 100 years later? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. In the early 1900s, a worldwide agreement was made, based on an idea by the Rockefeller Foundation to change the frequency of music. They changed it from its natural harmonic resonance 432 Hz to the current consciousness suppressing 440 Hz. Our DNA needs to be in the frequency of 432 Hz in order for our body and cells to function normally. 
the current 440 Hz music, is a static vibration which affects our DNA and cells incorrectly for cell health, which can cause ailments in the body. This has been another deliberate attack on mankind. Giant ancient rock in Saudi Arabia, which seems to be cut in half with a laser-like precision. Mainstream science doesn't know for sure how this happened, or they just do not want to admit the fact that our civilizations may have been much more advanced than our history books tell us. All these buildings have been cut out of one giant granite stone. Granite is the strongest rock next to a diamond, even by today's standards, it's very difficult to cut granite with our equipment, not to mention laser-like precision. There's no way that cattle people created this using a knife and a fork. Why would America copy Roman style? Because this is not Roman style. We had one culture, one technology, one genetic type, almost on the whole earth. They stole our buildings, and our history. Tartarian culture had to be buried at all cost. Old Tartarian architecture. If we all lived around these buildings, we'd be a lot happier. Stanley invented a car that was 100% powered by water. He was poisoned during a business meeting with two NATO investors because he was a threat to the status quo and was going to change the world. The basic principle is this. Molecules have a positive and negative magnetic side. Normal electrolysis can use the magnetic principles of water to rip it apart, but it uses a ton of energy. If the exact resonant frequency of the water is used, along with special circuitry that multiplies the voltage, while reducing the amperage to as little as possible, the resonant frequency will cause the water molecule to temporarily elongate. The normal oxygen molecule has six electrons, but can hold up to eight in its stable state. That makes it accept the two electrons of the hydrogen atoms. When the water molecule elongates, it allows the hydrogen atoms to be separated from the oxygen atom very easily. In turn, this produces hydroxy gas, called Brown's gas or HHO, which are basically forms of hydrogen and oxygen. Someday we'll all learn, oil isn't made from dinosaur fossils. It is naturally produced from within the earth, like the blood within our bodies. It is a renewable resource which can never run out. The scarcity tactics is used by the elites to promote them as fossil fuel, because allegedly being fossil fuels, it means that it will run out, therefore keeping the prices high. In fact, there is almost as much underground oil as there is water here on Earth. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.